This is Penny with Penny's Infinite Jewelry. And we have finally our blue box that I ordered two weeks ago. It has taken a while to get here. Um, I thought that it was supposed to, well, I guess, it, yeah, it was two, two Fridays ago. I was starting to think it was on the wagon train coming across the Western Hemisphere or something. It comes from New Jersey. But what confused me, I finally had a ride and I'm like, you know, this just keeps saying unfulfilled. Could you please, you know, check on this? And it it's supposed to be two boxes. And it was weird because it said that it was coming from two different parts of New Jersey. And I'm super excited to see what I have been waiting for all this time. So let's just jump in here and get this box open so we i don't even know how to open this box it's like crazy craziness it's i don't know what size the top i don't know what size the bottom but i just want to thank everyone here um my subscribers list is growing and my views were over 600 views of my videos and you know them videos the month that I, the three weeks I was having to lay in bed with my ankle, which I'm up on crutches now, but still can't walk good. Um, it was just amazing to have that um, go to, you know, to do the videos. All right, here's what we got so far, and I hope there's something good in here. But this would be one of the bags. Let's sit right there. And it looks like they're in they're in Ziploc baggies. And the last time I had two, ouch! Come and poked me. Oh my goodness! Whew. Now I got a little bleed. Um, look, I see the faces in here. I got mine from Nashville last time, and it was amazing. And this Friday night, I tried to get my blue box. Had my count ready you know i'm sitting there and i'm waiting right for six o'clock to see the jewelry open up to available add to your cart so i clicked my cart and i always put two um i started getting two because i do the videos and and because i can't really go out and source right now so i do the two and it said there's an error in your cart so I go back to the cart and I empty the cart out. I go back and do it again and it kept saying three in your cart. Well, I know we can't buy three because they've limited us to two. So I go back, empty the cart again, and by the time I did it the third time, they were sold out. So Penny did not get a jewelry bag last week. This is not looking really promising, but let's get in here and see. Let's see what that stuff is right there. I have been working uh, day and night trying to learn to build a blog. And I want to build a blog about jewelry and reselling in my life. And you know, the resale life of a reseller. You know, maybe throw in some recipes in there on how, you know, how to be a resale mom. But I am still working on that. That is yet to come. Are we ready? Let's see what we have in this blue box. And something keeps poking me. Pokey pokey. Oh, goodness. Okay, me. This is a, looks like it's all chipped here. I hope that, that there is, there is no way. No way. That is a bangle. Okay, I want to see who has a, that, that looks like a curtain rod holder or something. I think they just went through the store, grabbed stuff to put in here because I called them and they're like, oh, we better go get this girl her jewelry. Oh, here, here's a curtain rod holder. They'll, this thing holds back your curtains. And I'm like, okay, there better be some good stuff on here because this girl has waited and didn't get one this week, just mind you. I want to try to get a thread up. That's what I'm going to work on this week. This is pretty. This would be, I think it's either a bracelet like this. Could be a bracelet, which is pretty. Or it could be, I want to try this, a necklace. 
Whoop, whoop, that did not work. There we go. It's a bracelet. We's are gonna call it a bracelet. All right. I love brooches. And this is probably the little doodad that's poking me. No, it ain't. Because that would be on the bottom. There's something hung here. And I was reading people's comments and, and stuff. And I've got a few of the people off of my channel that I chat, you know, till 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, some of them. And um, one lady had said, mixed in a whole bunch of gobs of hers was um, a diamond gold necklace or something. So this is a brooch and it is very pretty. I'm going to start making Chris Christmas, start making pictures with my jewelry that I don't want. And that would be something right there. I could probably put in something like that because it's rhinestones. This isn't ugly. And I don't know if that's amber, but I do have my Presidium 2 checker coming. And I did order the microscope for jewelry that hooks to your computer. So there's no way to check this. It's cute, but you know, this little class tells me it's not that um, important to what I'm going to call it. Premier, I don't know. It's, it, they should have better things. Now, this is cute. I would probably sell this. It's got a, a really nice, I hope you can see me, a really nice sparkle, um, shine to the, to the, to the bracelet. I can't hardly think. I did get up this morning and go to yard sales with my daughter. I haven't been to yard sales in so long, and I'm like, I want to go. Okay, this is a earring. And remember what we're going to do with the earrings. We're going to lay them over here. And and if we find a match, we are going to holler, bingo. All right. I am so glad that y'all are watching my channel. And I'm hoping that you will love my blog. I've spent so many hours just trying to learn to build a blog. That's kind of different. But it's got, ooh, touch the light. But it's got like um, some of the silver is like chipped off here. The chain's nice. Hmm. Let's see what the Goodwill sent us. We shall see if they just threw something in here. Another beaded bracelet. But the two boxes, from what I can understand from tracking, came from two different parts. Um of New Jersey and it's crazy and my box came and my husband's reaction was this is a pretty beat up box because it looked beat up I guess this is a bracelet and it looks like we're on a, a roll here this is like the only bracelets we're going to be getting or things that look like they held back curtains or a you know what else this could be a napkin holder I didn't pay for no napkin holder I want jewelry. That's a bangle. See the difference in that one and this one? Yeah, that one's for a kid's hand. So I felt two little monkeys at the yard sale today and they had fuzzy legs and fuzzy arms and they had the cutest little face and their little fingers and toes. And I bought them for $2 a piece because they were cute. And um, I was showing it. My, my little grandbaby was with me, my three-year-old. Me and her and her mama went today. And I said, can you hold these while Gigi gets her money? Because I had my money poked in, poked in my bra. And she said, whoo, no, Gigi. She was freaked out with them monkeys. This is a JJ. And that's very beautiful. Look how what that, that represents, uh, you know, I don't know. It looks like a woman in a man's hand. And not being racist, but that's what it looks like. And they're both touching one star. So that's just, that's beautiful. I like that brooch. I like that brooch. Um, so I knew my grandbaby had got a real life doll. What do you call those? Reborn dolls for Christmas. That was a monkey. They paid like a hundred something dollars. My daughter did. My other granddaughter. And so I wrote my daughter and showed her the monkeys. And so I only paid four. She gave me $20 back for them. Looked them up. They're going for $84. 
on eBay. This is a, a theatrical mask. Um, that almost looks like the Tin Man in the middle, but that looks, I don't know, it looks like the Joker on the end. Who is this? Who do y'all think those are certain people or just a mask? And it is a brooch. It's a brooch. It is a brooch. This is a heavy, very heavy bangle um, bracelet. Unless it's some kind of car part, knowing these people. Just ugh, throw something in here and let's make this woman happy. That's what I think they did. So, I know that a lot of people, that's pretty, a lot of people did not get their blue boxes this time. Everyone, that I almost, everyone, I'm not going to say everyone, discovered some kind of glitch. I don't know what happened, but I'm not getting mine this week. So, there's an earring. So, should I show you this one this week and just use the next one for next week? And then I've got other jewelry to show. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'll turn this down a little bit so you can see me. Okay, this is a clamp bracelet. See that? But yeah, I like that. And it's got all the little purple stones. And I don't know if it's silver or gold, but I like how it it almost is magnetized. Magnetized. And what are these kids saying now when they find things that feel good or make popping noise? That's satisfying. I said, that is a weird thing for these kids. That's satisfying. And that's all the new TikTok trend. That's beautiful. And let's hope there's another one. But I have never, since I've been getting the blue box, went on there and it's showing two different tracking for two different towns. This is another JJ, but he's a theatrical mask. And that's so pretty. And they're silver. So, I mean, I think just these two masks, I should be able to make um, $20, $25 maybe, if not more. I'm not quite sure how much to put them theatrical masks. But I do listen to your opinions when I put on there on my videos how much should I ask for this. And then people put down there what they think I should ask. Or can you help me describe this? I do take it to heart. This is just a beaded bracelet that'll go into a lot. It'll go into a craft table. Oh, man, this is so pretty. Oh, this looks like it was all theatrical stuff. Look at that. And this is New Jersey. I've never been to New Jersey. But it's like a band. It's got your... Let me see. It's a... Let me make sure we get this closed. I don't want to get a pokey. Don't see anything written on it. But it's a, a saxophone, I guess, or trumpet or whatever. It's a, it's a piano. It's... Uh, trumpets and a violin. How cool is that? That's three really four really nice brooches and I love to do brooches. This is just a wink wink wonk. That'll go in the crafters a lot. Oh another. Oh yeah I didn't forgot about the little Christmas tree. So I mean the little snowflake. So these are cool. I don't see anything. Oh One's missing, but look at that. One is missing. Goodness gravy, look at this. I hope you enjoy my stories and you enjoy the jewelry. That's another face mask. These things creep me out. I don't know. I don't like things that, like masks of clowns and things you can hide behind. It's just very creepy. It's like, who's that? Who's behind that? It's just kind of creepy to me. All right. Oh, one of those just came off. But those are some beautiful orange, orange beads. And that's a brokey broke. That's a brokey broke. Okay, support our armed forces. And this is a necklace. My child is coming in to get keys, I guess, to her car. So this says, protect our loved ones. Oh, Lord, we pray, guide them safely home one day. And, you know, I think somebody might like that. You know, I have people in the armed forces. There's a little girl that I 
babysat a whole lot when she was little and she is in the Air Force. So I know some people, she's really dear to my heart. And then I just had a friend pass away and her daughter is in the army. So this is another brooch. Somebody likes brooches. And there's a name to this and I'm sure somebody knows what it is, but it's like the, it, there's a name to that. To me, it looks like that would be on an iron fence, iron post. Ooh, we still got this much. I don't like to run my videos long. Ooh, I like this. I'm dropping my thing. This, it looks like Brighton. And it's got that. And look at all these amazing beads. It is Brighton. It says Brighton right there. And it's got a skate. And it's got a cat. And it's got a breast cancer. And I absolutely love my Brighton bracelets. So this isn't going to be not just a catch and release. It's a catch. I like that. I like that bracelet. That bracelet was worth my $29. If you don't know what a blue box is, I started a um, Facebook group that I'm hoping to teach people this stuff. But a blue box is the Goodwill. Every Friday night, they have mystery boxes. And the blue boxes could be... Um, Legos or stuffed animals or men's apparel, women's apparel, jeans, jewelry, repurposed jewelry. And then they even have one where you get the, the clothing and the jewelry for $50. But mind you, at six o'clock, exactly six o'clock, um, you better start getting ready to, to be checked out because it's gone. Like within one minute, I could not even get any this week. So I'm gonna try to get a thread up one again because I got a diamond, a diamond necklace last time and I gave it to my son's getting married in April 10th. And so I gave that to his fiance as a wedding gift and I have no idea what these little clunkies are. Clunky clunkies, clunky clunky. What is that supposed to be? Ooh, they're like hard knots throughout the jewelry. Let me see. What missing? I bought two dolls at the yard sale today that had, okay, we will get that untangled, that had actual body parts. Like, there was a weenie on the little boy, and the girl had a private area, and I showed that to my daughter that bought the monkeys, and I just threw them in for my granddaughter, but they were 1990 something. This looks like an Ermish. How do you know if it's Ermish? I've had an Ermish bracelet because it said it before, but these beads are really nice. And I don't know how to tell if beads are glass. Dust off. Oh, look, that is an army. And it's even got P16105. I guess that's the patent number. Look at that. I like that. It's like an Air Force thing. Ooh. Okay, let me see. Let's see what we got here. I meant to hold this. I don't like plastic beads. Don't like plastic beads. Do y'all throw your plastic beads away like this? They're like Mardi Gras, Mar Mardi Gras beads. I went to New Orleans about a year ago, and I seen these hanging in the trees. Me and my sister went on vacation, and yeah, what do you do with these? Does people really craft with them? Do people get discouraged if you stick them? Bingo! In their crafting boxes. I got a bingo. I got a bingo. Yay! Two matching earrings. So not so bad for waiting, huh? Not so bad for waiting. And I get these a lot. But I think I'm going to list it because it, it, it feels like shells or, or glass. I don't know what you would call those, but they're really nice. Like, see how nicely made they are? It's real tight. I'm going to list that. And I have, this is what I did. I went and deleted everything from Poshmark, Macari, Etsy, and eBay. And I'm starting all over again because I get just overwhelmed sometimes. I didn't feel like I kept up with my books that good. Hello, darling. 
this go to the, was it a black tie affair? Hmm. Pretty ring. I haven't listed very many rings because I don't know how to photograph them. Ooh, I like this. This is a beautiful brooch. But I'm bad about putting them upside down. Look at that. Those almost look amber. Ooh, that is so pearly. That is really pretty. Like I said in one of my videos, we used to wear denim jackets in the 80s. And we would take those and put them on. This is a pretty bracelet. I thought I just had one like this here. I did, didn't I? This one. See, I could lock them together. At least they're, those are really pretty. Okay, do you do crafters lots? Or do you put your beads together? Your things with missing stones together? I've been watching people, especially on auctions on eBay. And they're auctions get way up there like 60 and 70 dollars i'm like wow i could handle that this is a pretty necklace it's just a fashion fashion necklace so if i do a blog and so far unless i change it because i'm thinking about doing a hosting site instead of just wordpress.com i'm thinking about doing wordpress.org um do you, what would you like to see on my resale blog? Haul videos, would you like to see pricing, like show you something and show what I sold? Like, would you like it to be something you could follow every week and get different, there's an earring, get stats on or just tell me what you would like to see. I want to do it all about reselling and all about jewelry plus just being a mom of six and the life of a reseller and where I started and all that good jazz but they say not to get such a narrow niche niche it's beautiful look at that looks like a disco ball disco fever looks like a disco ball but I love all things resale, and I love to teach people how to flip things. Like I did the monkeys today. Those monkeys, I could have got $84 from a $4 monkey. You have to work smarter, not harder. And you have to take and invest. My, my uncles were always business people. Always, one even made a watermelon belt and patented it and sold it. And, like, my uncles were, now his sons, he's passed away, and his sons are continuing his car hauling business. So, I think it's in my blood to buy something and want to flip it. Um, buy, so, you got to take the money you have now if you can't make any more money. Let's just say you work on a, um, a salary-based or you can only get 40 hours a week and you get, like, let's just say eight fifty dollars uh, an hour, then you're going to have to take that money and make it work. You're going to have to work it. This is beautiful. And this is a seahorse. And I am thinking someone's going to like that. Probably my daughter. So you got to take the money you have and make more from that. This will go into a crafter's lot. I don't really care for that crazy beaded chained crafter's lot. Um, so you can't make more. You have to make what you have work. And make it more. Okay, this is Italy on the back of it. And it's a crucifixion cross. Okay, like these. Should I put all my little crucifixion crosses together? Put like things together? Maybe find somebody. These are so heavy. These are so heavy. Oh my goodness. These. This is the so satisfying, as the kids would say. Makes you just want to keep... They're heavy. Bet I can't get that for under four ounces on Macari. But they're nice. They're a nice set of beaded. I don't know what they are. Glass, I'm thinking. These will just go into crafters lots. They're just little beaded bracelets. I need to make more crafters lots. I deleted everything. This is a brooch. This is a brooch. I haven't seen. This has something written on it. And I cannot tell what it is. I will hold that out so I can 
get my loop on put it right over here my nose is itching for some reason this stuff is making my nose itch my nose itch i take my allergy pill before i do this from now on okay this is pretty i had a bracelet a tennis bracelet one time that had multitudes of beautiful colored stones on it like this but it was like a tennis bracelet i loved it look at that some of this stuff I want to just poke in my little pockets over here that I keep. My, if you can see this, have y'all ever seen these where you can poke your jewelry in the pockets? Okay, another earring. Okay, this is pretty. This is really pretty. It's almost like glass or pop candy. Remember that pop candy that you can get? I think you can still get it at Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. Let me see. I didn't even weigh mine to see if it was the right amount. Another little crafter beaded, unless I put all them together. Somebody might like it. This is a really messed up. Like, do you think that in the back of the Goodwill, I, just, I don't work at the, this is J. Crew. Um, the back of the Goodwill, there's just this donations that come in and there's jewelry, just, to, just boxes of boxes of jewelry. Or do you think they're just, every time they open up a box, they'll find pieces of jewelry? Like, you think people just throw this down in there? It'd be so much fun to work at the back of the Goodwill, but I wouldn't want to get rid of it. Oh, my goodness, I wouldn't want to get rid of it. Okay, so these, what I'll do with these is I'm going to use them for my own crafters because the spring, someone said these are sweater, sweater brooches. But this sweater brooch is seen as not stay. It is, you know, they're not even brooches because there is no, there are no, sorry, I have to correct my grammar. There are no pins to pin it on. Bingo, we got a match. There's a bingo. And the other day, I bought three pounds of earrings. And I did find a diamond earring in there. Diamond and 10 karat gold. And even the back, even the back of it was 10 karat gold. So check everything. Check every single back. It's worth it. This is pretty. I could sell that. It's real light, kind of gold in different colors. All right. Let's see what this is. It's an earring. And it says... R-E-N-I-O-R. -E Renor? I don't know that name. Or who Renor is, but we found her earring. Renor, please come to the front of the line. We have found your crazy earring. What do you think? If these come from two different places, then I can't even expect to find matches in that one. Okay, here's a beautiful butterfly. I get a lot of butterfly brooches. It's pretty. Look at all that sparkle. Can you see that sparkle? Beautiful. I'm gonna check that stone with my stone checker. A lot of people are saying the Presidium is not calibrating. It's another one of these. Remember, a while ago I said it was a Hermish. Look at that. I can put those together because they're really pretty. Lot them together, make more money. Lot them together and make more money. So this is just a little ring that fits like that. But is that not adorable? Just so adorable. And I get these things a lot. I have seen these beads more than once. You see these little bitty, look like coffee beans or something. Honestly. Honestly, honestly. Looks like a coffee bean. And see, here's a fake. And it says M E M E D U G O R J E, and I don't know what that means, but it's a cross. It's a cross. Here's some more of them coffee beans in here. Look, a bunch of coffee beans, and they're all broken. I'll put that stuff in a crafter's lot. All right, more beans, more beans, more beans, more beans. This is what we're down to now. This is what we have. 
me see. This is pretty. Different color, multiple beaded. Oh, this matches my ring. Love that. That's garnet or ruby. I gotta learn that stuff. Here's another little faith. Another little faith. There's something written on it. See, it looks like something for church or what that is. It's a something. It's got something written on it. More of these little beads. So I'm thinking I may lot these little beads together. Somebody may have six little girls that they want to buy all these little beads. All these. This is broke. This is so broke. It's so broke. All right. All right, all right, all right. And this is a D. This is the letter D brooch. Somebody might like that. People like monograms. This is a beautiful necklace. See it? Isn't that pretty? Shimmer and shines. Here's some more of those. Ooh, they got just a good coffee things are just a falling off. Look at that. Coffee, coffee, coffee beans, coffee beans. All right, let's see what else we have here. Hopefully I'm not boring you. I get so sleepy watching boring videos. I'm like, I want to watch this, but I'm just so tired. They're just talking me to sleep. Okay. This one. This one is beautiful. Look at that. Tell me how you would describe this necklace. I do have a faith Facebook, faith after all these crosses, Facebook group called Penny's Infinite Jewelry. If you would like to go over there and subscribe, more beans, and oh, oh, bingo, I know I had that one. Don't know where it's at. There it is. These are little clip-ons. Look out. Dangle, dangle, dangle. They're made out of paper. No, that looks like leather. It looks like they're on leather strings. All right, this video may go over 30 minutes, and I don't want to bore you to death, but we might just let it go. Charmin' Charlie, if you see the C right there, Charmin' Charlie, it's a store. It's got accessories and things like that in it. That's a pretty, pretty, pretty. You know what's weird? Is it's just that it's in the name. You could get something that says J. Crew or whatever and it would sell these are, these are ugly <laughs> cracking um sell quicker than something that's beautiful that doesn't have a name it's craziness that'll probably go in a crafter's lock because it feels kind of like like it's um and it may not be maybe not I feel like it's plastic like the whole thing was you know how you can buy in the kids section the little wedding sets with the little earrings and all here's another one of these beads but look they're all peeling off another crafter's lot look at these like if somebody is having a wedding and they want all these little pink i keep dropping my bag pink beads beaded bracelets for all their little girls to wear or family pictures or something like that oh goodness God, I a bunch of these little pink beads. Another earring. And this one, phew, that's a really big bag. I don't think I've ever seen a bag that big, ever. Ever seen, and ooh, what is that? I've seen this before. I don't know if that's Hemalite. I don't think so. But it's just a really weird, almost feels like a, stainless steel but it almost feels like a bracelet a watch I mean. it has a bracelet it almost feels like a watch i'm going to go ahead and finish what's in this bag we're going to go fast here's another beaded one here's a beaded necklace plastic beads um oh did we have this earring i think we did i think we did bingo 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 let me see I think we did have this earring. Oh, well, I will look, but this is an earring. Hate one, uh, one earrings. 
I'm going to put the diamond earring up. The one that's diamond and gold. Ooh, look, look, look. I found the other one of those. Bingo, bingo. We got two right here. They're clip-ons. They're signed. They got a name on them. I've got to figure out how to do my earrings to take pictures because I don't have... Oh, this is another bingo. This isn't a bad set. People are like, oh, I get mine from this New Jersey and it's trash. But honestly, if you find two or three really good things and can set, make you another crafters lot, it's worth $30. That's just a little bit of things that I'm doing. Crafters lot. And we're down to the nitty gritty. Down to the nitty gritty. All right. It's not too tangled. I mean, I've had stuff so tangled I couldn't get it undone. This is going to be like a three-layer beaded. When I see these, they remind me of the planets. You know how you had to make these planet things in school? It's pretty. Look at that. And it looks like a planet. I don't see no names. It's a no-namer. All right. That's a nice necklace. Just I hate when they're weird. Look how weird. Ain't nobody's neck look like that. Why in the world those necklaces come out like that? Ain't nobody look like that. Okay, this is a nice. And some people make wind chimes out of necklaces and stuff. Like this would be great for a wind chime. Like it's they feel glass or something. Oh, I gotta get rid of easy listing. This is a vintage necklace, I can tell. How can you tell? I have no idea. I can just tell. There it is. See that? It's rhinestones. I don't know, I can just tell when something is like old. My little grandbaby will say, don't touch that, that's Gigi's and it's old. Don't touch that, it's old. Look how sparkle that beaded. So I don't think, okay, so I would give this, isn't like over the top, wow, wow, wow. I think I just felt this one. Remember, because it had the big back. But I'm going to make my money back. I'm not disappointed with this one because there's enough brooches in here. Alumni, something, little shell. There's enough brooches, earrings that I'll make my $30 back. But like all the little beaded bracelets, Unless I lock them together, they're going to be hard to sell alone. Alone. Sometimes you just got to lock them together. Let me see this right here. I've still got that little ring on, don't I? That's just my shirt got on today. Let me see. Oh, my goodness. And my husband is having to wash laundry right now. And he is the world's worst to wash laundry because I keep telling him I have no clothes clean. I only have so many clothes and I rewear them over and over and over and over. And I don't care how many new things I get, I end up just grabbing my comfy clothes. Oh, there's an earring. More of that candy. I can't remember if I had one of those or not. All right, well, this looks like two necklaces hooked together. I'll have to untangle them. Uh, one looks like it has a cross and this like leather band and then this one is beautiful beaded if you can see that there's such beautiful beads this bag is almost empty we about went through a whole entire blue box my favorite piece it was the brighton charm bracelet and what was your favorite piece i don't know this is pretty cool this is all of the Winnie the Pooh, all the Winnie the Pooh characters, and there is something written on this, and I bet you it is silver or something. That's cute. Aw, uh, let's see who we got. We got Tigger, Piglet, Pooh, and Dior. Pretty cool. I like that. I mean, if I could throw this stuff on the day I get it, I could be a rich woman, but I just cannot find time. Got too many hands in the fire. This is a necklace with little coins. 
little coins. Didn't get very many single necklaces, earrings, whatever. I lost something. I lost something down there. Okay, this is a beaded necklace, but it's nice. Like, get off there, you hitchhiker. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a black necklace. So I'm thinking about doing jewelry and a story once a week. Just tell a story. It might not be about my life. It could just be something that encourages you or brings you faith in what you're doing, helps you to love yourself, or maybe it's just a story of my life that will make you laugh, cry. Okay. Yep, they're all falling. This is the other one. Bingo. Got that right here. Ching, ching. Um, this is another brooch. Brooch, brooch, brooch. And like I had said before, I would put brooch and pin and be careful with all the words you use. Make sure you don't, like I use the word beautiful, but I really shouldn't because no one's going to be looking for a beautiful necklace. And that looks like a little kid's. Whoever had this had a tiny wrist. All right, that's a little earring right there, and I haven't seen one like that. But these are the tiniest. And let me see what's falling in the floor. A couple of little earrings, not much of nothing. Oh, did I have this one? Oh, look, this matches the necklace. Oh, I hope I've got the other one in there. If I do, you say bingo, because I can't remember. I like it when you get matching sets. And let me see what fell here. Oh my goodness. I don't think anything else fell. Oh, yep, 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 yep. This is the matching earring. So we have a necklace and we have two matching earrings. So, I mean, I know I can at least get 15, 15 bucks from these, 20. All right, well, this is it. This is all of this bag. Tell me how you would rate it from nine, from a zero to a 10, I would probably give it an eight because I've had fascinating boxes, but I probably an eight, but it was good. Eight, eight and a half. All right, well, this is Penny and I have links below for you to, if you want to go look on my eBay and Macari. All right, love you, God bless and be happy.